Welcome to Module 10 for Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to apply styles to tables, configure table style options, and insert total rows. Click anywhere on the table to make the Design tab appear along the ribbon. On the Design tab, in the Table Styles group, click the down arrow button. Click Clear at the bottom of the menu. Notice how the Spark Lines column title is no longer teal, and the lines separating the rows disappear. The header colors remain since you set that before formatting as a table. Reformat your table using the Table Styles button on the Design tab. You can customize the design features of your table further through the Table Style Options section of the Design tab. Uncheck the Header Row box. Excel asks if we want to continue, since it could potentially change your formulas. Click Yes. The header row disappears. Recheck the box to return the header row to the table. Now check the Banded Columns button. When you turn on this feature, lines appear separating the columns. Leave this on, since it makes the table easier to read. There are several other options you can explore on your own. Once Excel recognizes a formal table, it can automatically place a total row along the bottom of the table. Excel automatically applies boldface to the new total row to make it stand out. Still in the Table Style Options section of the Design tab, check Total Row. Excel adds the total row to the bottom of the table. Since our rightmost column contains spark lines, we won't use the grand total cell for this example. Delete the word total in cell A43 and type in average. Click cell B43 in the total row and a down arrow will appear. Click this arrow and choose average so you can see the average temperature for January. Drag this formula across the table to quickly calculate the average for each month, as well as the total average temperature over the period. With the total row still selected, change the format to Number in the Home tab to see only two decimal places.